It's an exciting project, this, with your gala event coming up next September. It seems a way off, but it will soon be with us. So just tell us the whole principle of what you're trying to achieve. It's been enjoyable. A lot's been achieved. And um, I want to make it one big celebration for those 25 years. And at the same time, what it's all been about, raising money, um, giving something back to you know, some of those organisations that have been very supportive in my fundraising. And um, hopefully we can, as always, raise some good money on, on the night for this special occasion. And I hope it also brings a lot of those people together that, you know, I've been fortunate to have been involved with in, in doing such things over those years. When you started out fundraising nearly 25 years ago, did you ever imagine that you'd A, be doing it for 25 years and B, that you'd raise quite as much money as you have? Not at all. It, it was just um, at the time, it, it, was, uh, it seemed um, something nice to do on that occasion. Now, I was asked when I started off and uh, it was nice and rewarding to think that I'd done something and it was I remember the, the very first event. It was very, very entertaining, lots of fun, and a lot of people got a hell of a lot out of it. And I was asked to do something, you know, within weeks somewhere else. And then it all, it all kind of built into a momentum. And then the levels of what I was doing uh, sort of rose. And uh, year by year on is something's been done so uh, I've been fortunate that a lot of people have supported me in supporting what I'm trying to do and help others and uh, it's all been very very successful fruitful and enjoying and as I say uh, I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have swapped it for anything. Well, uh, there are some nice images of some of those fundraising events on the website, which is paulhobbs25.com. Uh, but right up to date, it's the 5th of September 2019 in Ashton Gate, which is the gala night, uh, which you'll be hoping lots of people will attend. And already there's some local companies getting behind it, aren't there? Yeah, there is. I'm, uh, Bristol Audi, car company, and everyone active have come forward with sponsorships for uh, uh, certain categories and this is a this is tremendous news for us so early and the fact that we know that there's uh, other companies already starting to discuss and show an interest so this is this is a great boost to the event so early so what we should say is we're putting on sports awards aren't we and the the, the categories in general are looking back over the best performances uh, over the last 25 years during your period of fundraising. So we're looking for the best Bristol City footballer, the best Bristol Rovers footballer, the best rugby player and, and several other categories just like that. So it is a way of celebrating what has been a very successful quarter of a century for sport in this area. It is, you know, over the time that I've done this fundraising, there's been a hell of a lot of great sporting achievements in sportsmen, in sportswomen. And as you know only too well, there's been a big sports influence in, in a lot of the things that I've done with charity fundraising, you know, like stadium walks. And there's always been a sports representative there. It's always been a major influence. And this to me would be the icing on the cake as well, having a sports award and representing all those achievements over the last 25 years and seeing what we come up with with who, who actually wins the awards from the companies that have sponsored in the way they've chosen the votes it, yeah. it will be very intriguing and you know it'll be a great part of the evening i think it certainly will so um, once again many thanks to bristol audi and everyone active uh, if other companies would like to join them and, and sponsor an award what, what do they get for uh, for joining us and, and becoming a sponsor well they'll uh, receive a, a corporate table for 10. they will um they will also have naming rights of the category like Bristol Audi, it'd be the Bristol Audi uh, Bristol Rugby Sports Award, you know, and they will get naming awards and uh, also they will get uh, a full page in the um, 
the souvenir brochure that we hope to have. So uh, there will be, you know, there will be, uh, you know, something for them that I hope is, uh, you know, something that they find attractive. And lots of uh, mentions on social media oh, with their yeah, company with logos the, and all those sorts of things. That goes without saying, and I'm sure this will be much media coverage. Yeah. There will be local media coverage that they will get mentions. And uh, of course, there'll be presenting the awards to themselves as well on the night. So, uh, um, and I'm sure they'll all have their own ways of how they determine the vote, which, you know, they'll do it through their customers and stuff like that. So um, it is, a, it is a, a very nice part of the, the event, which naturally there's going to be a big auction which will be raising money for six charities of local charities in the area. So, uh, and hopefully plenty of local guests. Yes. Well, we look forward to uh, uh, more companies getting on board. They can get in touch with us, obviously, and uh, then hopefully they can join in the fun on the 5th of September 2019. As I say, it seems like a long way off, but it'll soon be with us, won't it? Absolutely, it will be. It'll fly by and... Uh, looking immensely forward to it. It'll be the climax of what has been a very, very, uh, you know, successful and enjoyable 25 years of fundraising.